This is a national program that I'm helping spearhead as part of welcome.us. And our role is to get the word out um, to help people understand these opportunities to sponsor a newcomer. Before Thursday, those opportunities for regular people were few and far between. We had limited forms of sponsorship programs. So some sponsorship programs were limited to family members or maybe they were really limited in time. Welcome Corps is a new private sponsorship program. It will allow groups of five people to apply to sponsor a refugee that has been approved for resettlement. Those five people will have to raise $2,275 for each newcomer, pass a background check, and create a detailed welcome plan. What this does is sort of puts you in the center of the action. Um, so it allows you and a group of four individuals to be at the airport when the family arrives, to help them find their new housing, to help them find their new jobs. Last year, the U.S. government tested out this approach with sponsor circles for Afghanistan evacuees. This program is similar, but more widespread. That was what we could consider a pilot um, for what we have today, which is Welcome Poor. The big difference is, is that the Welcome Poor sponsors will respond to conflict across the nation, I mean, across the globe, rather. So maybe welcoming refugees from the Democratic Republic of the Congo and really bring, being that bridge to safety between the refugee camp and a new community here in the United States that offers a different set of opportunities for them and their families. Now, this program does not apply to migrants crossing our border seeking asylum when they get here. In the first phase, private sponsors will only be matched with refugees who have already been approved for resettlement. Last year, most of those people came from the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Afghanistan, Burma, and Syria. But by mid-2023, private sponsors will be able to identify and refer refugees for resettlement through Welcome Corps. It's interesting because you think of how we view immigration and how confusing it can be. This seems to be a, a very proactive step as far as making immigration work for, for those refugees. Yeah, and other countries have already done this. Canada has a program. That's what this program is based off of. Sweden also has a program like this. All right, Katie, thanks.